So today I want to make a video for the absolute beginner, someone who has very little or zero accomplishments and really zero knowledge. Um, I was talking to someone recently and, you know, they were explaining their frustration and sort of the difficulty that they were having. And I think one of the things, this is really a continuation to the plateau um, and the ways to get out of plateaus, really any plateau at any point, any feeling of stuck or just not knowing what to do, creation, creation is always going to be the answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of fun with some of the most basic things we can do on the guitar, truly the most basic things we can do on the guitar, um, and n enjoy it a little bit, right? So really the concept here is gamification, gamifying it, making it into something playful and fun, right? So um, if you have zero experience, you don't have any calluses on your fingers, right? So that's really sort of one of the first things we want to do is get calluses on our fingers. Now I train it in a sort of very particular way, but that's not fun, right? If you want to just sort of start to just enjoy some experience with the guitar, then uh, what we're going to want to do is, well, you know, let's just make it simple. How about we start with just the first finger, just the index finger, right? And I'm just going to, I got my clean channel on, I got my tone rolled down so I get a little bit of a thick jazz tone, you know? And I just want to be able to put a note down with enough pressure and get a good sounding note. Now right here, I can start to go, all right, well, let me do five of those in a row. So that was two, that's three, take it off each time, put it back on, four, take it off each time, put it back on. There's five, right? Now what if I do that with each string? Right, and for the sake of the video, I'll just sort of speed this up, right? <laughs> Right, but that actually segues us up into sort of the next thing, which is rhythm or speed, right? So what if I hold my finger down on the note? It could be any one. Let's, uh, let's do the D string here, right? So I got my first finger on just any fret on the D string. I'm just choosing a fifth fret. But what if I want to go like... So now I've got a rhythm. i am actually got like a one half of what is needed for music and I've got a pitch. So I technically have music, you know, right notes, right rhythm. So I have notes and I have rhythm. That's technically music, right? It might not be the ideal music that got us into the guitar, but we can at least sort of just start to explore the guitar with a little bit of that sort of humble perspective, right? So now I've got a, like a long, short, long, long short long and i could just use downstrokes i don't have to do anything fancy right i can even look at my right hand if i want i could do slow right but then i could start to get a bit interesting let's say i, I keep that long short long like that right just want to make sure my hands in view a bit let's do back right so if i go now what if i do one of those notes same finger but i just change the string with one of those like Ooh, now I've got a melody, right? I've got more than one note. And all of a sudden, I've actually got structure. I've actually got like an official form of music, you know? Um, right, start chaining around. But again, I'm just using one finger and I'm just using one fret. And if that finger gets tired, you could always switch it or even do different frets, right? Right, even if you're trading fingers on and off, even if your hand is like this or whatever, right? Just anything to just sort of lightly get the notes on, but make sure you're getting them out, right? So what if I'm like, right? It doesn't have to be that fast. Let's even go slow. And then what do I want to like slide the finger up? So I actually keep the pressure on it. I hear the note go up. So I... Right. And what if I get a bit like a long, short, and I come back long, long, short. Ooh, missed it. <laughs> long, and that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Right, because there's no judgment here, right? So even if I want to take, let's say I want to take that finger and make some like low rips or even put distortion on, which I'll just keep it on clean right now. But if I'm going 
let's say any fret, I don't have to know any notes, I don't have to know anything about music, and I just want to... But you see how the repeated note, like playing two of the same notes, sort of starts to give it a little bit more of like a, a place where the importance is. Right, and the idea isn't to whiz around, but that's kind of fun too if you keep the pressure on, you know. Uh, but just sort of to go calmly and controlled, like the idea is every note just doesn't have a buzz, right? And then, like I said, if that finger gets a little tired, use a different finger. Let's say I use the second finger. Right now, I'm just sort of practicing a little bit of the slide. What if I go like long, short, long? I can always take it off, right? Or if I want to go back to like a vertical approach, what if I instead of across one fret, what if I did sort of just like a complete diagonal like that? See that? Come up with a little melody. It starts to actually make, you know, uh, mostly, especially in the low strings here, we actually get something called an augmented chord, which is a, kind of a cool sound. Um, It's actually a minor arpeggio. <laughs> Those three notes make up a minor chord, right? So you'll start to find some sounds that might even be familiar, even when I did. Right? And it just gives us good experience going, all right, my pick is over here, and now my pick, I go to find this string. Like I said, if you want to be looking at the strings, go ahead and look at the strings, right? But the idea is to just sort of make the smallest viable accomplishment that you can imagine. We're using our creativity to enjoy our time with the guitar. Not what somebody tells us we should start with, not what, uh, not what even what we feel we should start with, but we're just going, what makes the instrument fun? You know, it's not about starting and getting to be able to play rock songs or anything, you know, like that's going to take compounded accomplishments. We're going to need a couple things in, in, in sort of in place to be able to have that be a nice experience, you know? So just getting started with like, just good sounding notes, you know, finger at the back of the fret, different fingers, you know, use all four fingers, put the pinky down, take your time. All right, what if I want to even like, like skip some strings? I like that long, short, long ended. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Same note. Short, long, short. Let's change the fret. Right, so now I've got. Now I'm creating. Right. I won't yet know how to make music that's like very consonant, very happy. Right, and that's okay. I'm. It's not the focus, you know. So we just enjoy sort of the sounds the guitar can make. What if I was slide a little bit? Practice sort of keeping the pressure on, guiding it over to a note when we get there, play it, slide it back. Right, this is easier said than done when we first start doing it. It's very easy to lose the note, you know? So not that you have to do that kind of thing right away, but sort of wherever your physical capabilities are, you're just focusing on playing something very basic, like a single note, with a single finger very well. And that gives a feeling of satisfaction. That feels like, oh, okay, I'm actually doing something right. That's something I can actually build upon. So hopefully this was insightful. Hopefully this was helpful, helpful, especially if you're any bit of a frustrated player, just gets you to just think outside the box a little bit. Um, if you want my help designing your progress uh, so you don't have to be frustrated anymore, please feel free to send me a message. I'd love to help you out. Thank you. Have a great night. Happy and healthy plan.